In this video I'm going to talk to you about projectiles and I'm going to do this by answering the following question. So an arrow is fired at a 58 degree angle from the ground at a velocity of 65 meters per second. How far will the arrow travel in the horizontal direction before it lands? Assume the air resistance is negligible and take G as 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, so if we look at this and think about what the arrow is going to do, it will go up to its highest point and then come back down to the ground. And we need to think about this motion in a couple of separate steps. So we need to think about the way the arrow travels up to its highest point uh, where the velocity goes to zero and then comes back down to the ground. And we also need to think about the motion of the arrow going across. And we need to think about these sort of two dimensions in separate stages. Um, once you put those back together again we of course get the overall motion of the arrow but we do need to break it down into steps. So the first thing that we're going to do is to look at the motion going up and then think about it coming down and then finally we'll be looking at it going across. So step one, what are the horizontal and upward velocities of the arrow? So if we look at this arrow and think about it as a vector it's a vector uh, velocity with 65 meters per second and uh, we can put an angle in there and we can sort of draw a right angle triangle with this and resolve the velocities, the upward velocity and the horizontal velocity and we can do that using trigonometry. So the horizontal velocity will equal 65 times cos 58 and if you want to see where that's come from then uh, watch one of the trigonometry videos that I've made for the maths foundation maths. Okay, we can work that out. We can also get the upward velocity by using 65 times sine 58. And so these are the first two bits of information that we need to work out. So next question, how long until the arrow reaches its highest point? So this is the arrow going up, but we just want to think about its motion in the vertical axis. So how long from, for it to take to go from the ground to the highest point? Now we know the initial upward velocity is 55.1 meters per second and at its highest point the arrow will be stationary so we know that the final velocity will be 0 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity minus 9.81 and that's because our frame of reference at the moment is the arrow going up. Gravity is pulling back down on the arrow and so therefore the acceleration is negative because it's causing a deceleration of the arrow. If we put these into the Suvat equation then we can work out the time, 5.62 seconds for the arrow to reach its highest point. Next we want to think about how long until the arrow falls back down to the ground, so how long will this take? So it's just the time for it to go from its highest point back down to the ground and again we'll just think about this vertical axis. Now it so happens that it takes the same length of time to return to the ground as it took for it to reach its highest point. Now we can prove that with a few of the SUVAT equations, but for now we'll just take that as being correct, so we can just say, well it's 5.62 seconds again. Okay, now we're ready to answer the question that we were posed originally, how far will the arrow travel in the horizontal direction? So we can think about this using the information we've already worked out. The total flight time, the total time it will be in the air for, will be 2t, so that's 5.2 5.62 seconds to get to its highest point and then again another 5.62 seconds to get down. So the arrow will be in flight for a total of 11.24 seconds. The horizontal velocity that we worked out in step 1 is 34.4 meters per second and displacement equals velocity times time. So if we multiply those together we get the answer 386.7 meters. So that's been a video uh, just a very simple introduction to projectiles and how we can solve uh, a problem involving projectiles.